while we listen to tunes made by ignorant fools Israel block the UN from delivering food They bring in the troops and you won't even glimpse of the news They make money off the products that we're quick to consume And it's not simply a question of differing views Forget emotions, this is facts, what I spit is the truth now, Loki has also come out with a recent video criticizing U.S. policies and U.S. President Barack Obama. It's titled on YouTube, Banned from TV. Take a listen to that. I have the heart to say what all these other rappers aren't Words like Iraq, Palestine, Afghanistan The war's on and you morons were all wrong I call Obama a bummer cause those are your bum, your bum, your bum. I spoke to Loki earlier from London and asked him first what his reaction is to what happened on the flotilla over the weekend. Listen. Well, I think the first question that needs to be asked is, is the siege which is currently being enforced on the people of Gaza legal? No, it's not. Ask Amnesty International, ask Human Rights Watch, ask the UN. It's even um, Hillary Clinton has come out with a statement um, stating just now, in fact, that it's unacceptable and unsustainable, the siege of Gaza. Secondly, we talk about um, the, flotilla, the flotilla was actually a humanitarian aid mission, um, and they were in international waters when they were boarded by um, the Israeli Navy. Now, in this situation, one has to ask themselves, was it legal? for um, the Israeli armed soldiers to board a ship in international water. No, it wasn't. Um, also, I think what happened afterwards is a clear, clear, clear indication of the, um, the policy that um, Israel is, is pursuing. And I think um, the most important thing to add to that is not only is Israel a terrorist state, it is actually now a pirate state on top of that. So harsh words towards Israel. I'm curious what role you believe the U.S. plays in perpetuating their policies, because also in your song you cite that U.S. President Barack Obama pledged $30 billion in aid to Israel over the next decade. He also stated something else in that speech, um, which he made before APAC, um, which was actually made before he became the Democrats' candidate. It was. In order to beat Hillary Clinton, I believe this was a speech that he had to make, and it was also written by um, a man called Dennis Ross, who is now his special advisor to the Middle East and is someone who has been documented as a member of the Israel lobby in the United States. In that speech, something he said which was um, very, very important was that Jerusalem would be the undivided capital of Israel. Now, when a person states that, they may as well get in a caterpillar bulldozer themselves and go to Jerusalem and start knocking down homes and evicting Palestinians from their homes and, evic and evicting the indigenous people from their homes. So um, I think that really lay the foundation for where Obama stands. I mean, also in regards to Obama's administration, you have the defense secretary is a man called Robert Gates, the same defense secretary George Bush had. You had his chief of staff is a guy called Ram Israel Emanuel, who has a, uh, a very close relationship with Israel. You have um, people like Brzezinski is still in um, Obama's circle. Um, you know, this is, this is not a situation where we can fool ourselves. You have a U.S. citizen yesterday was protesting against the massacre on the flotilla in the West Bank. She was protesting and she was shot in her eye and her eye has been removed. And this is not the first time that the IDF has tar have targeted U.S. citizens and Obama has said nothing about it. Tristan Anderson, just after Obama, um, in fact, became the president, was shot in the head with a gas canister by the IDF in the West Bank for protesting against the illegal wall that Israel, Israel is building also, and Obama said nothing. You know, the, it's very, very clear that um, not only in the United States, but also in the United Kingdom, our taxes are in those bullets that are being fired into people every single day. You know, on one side you have the settlements in the West Bank, which are completely illegal. You have uh, about half a million settlers in the West Bank, completely illegal, armed settlers in the West Bank. 
with swimming pools when the Palestinians don't have access to clean water in their own land. And then on the other Loki, side in Gaza, you have a siege which Loki, is completely illegal. I have to ask you because your criticism yeah. of uh, U.S. President Barack Obama does not end there. In your latest video, Abomination, you have some harsh words as well, mm. harsh lyrics. What are you trying to accomplish with that song? And I'm also curious, you're British. What, what is your, uh, why are you focusing on American policies? Well, I think if we, I'd, I'd, I would say that the song is an examination of United States foreign policy since 1945. When we talk about the United States, we are talking about a country which currently has estimated a thousand military bases worldwide, from Japan to Saudi Arabia to Colombia to Egypt to Kuwait. Um, to Guam, to Hawaii, to Diego Garcia, where in fact the entire indigenous population were removed from their homes and still cannot go home because of the American military base that was built there. I mean, they were removed in order to build the American military base. So, um, you know, they have one in Colombia now, very close to Venezuela. I think that um, it was an examination of America's role in the world. And I think the, the main purpose of the song was to draw the American people's attention to the way in which they are perceived by the rest of the world. Because I think that um, there's very, they very much live in a bubble. I'm somebody that has um, traveled the United States um, quite thoroughly. And the media in the United States, by and large, does not actually show what is really going on. And people have genuine grievances with United States foreign policy. Um, whether a person thinks those military bases should exist or not, I think it would be very hard to disagree that those military ba bases represent um, the building of empire and the expansion of empire. And I am not anti-American, I am anti-empire. And also, they even have military bases within the UK as well. Loki, I wish I had more time with you. I'm going to have to end it there, but certainly some interesting insights okay. and criticisms uh, in the midst of okay. what's going on with the flotilla and, and other U.S. Uh, endeavors abroad. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me.